This year, Di's plan for a British home win is to bring a youthful but experienced team. We're going to start with Amanda Derbyshire with, with Roulette. Um, we need a solid partnership to get us out off, hopefully to a really good start. And then we're going to have um, James Wilson. James has had great form with his Imagine de Moose horse this, this season, really come in from nowhere into Senior Nations Cups, but with a great record. So we're looking forward to seeing, seeing him perform on home soil. And Amy Ingalls as well, with the homebred wishes. Got off to a great start in the ball. She was one that was ready to, out, to go out of the blocks in the ball. So um, Amy's got a chance again here. And we're all backed up with Ben Mayer. Ben on Tic Tac. To win in Hickstead would be amazing because you know I've now been, this is my fourth year in charge and we haven't managed to get a home win. I'm very conscious of that, but going forward, you know, we want we want to win. We want to get back our winning ways again because we've got Rotterdam coming up very soon, the European Championships, and we want that qualification in Tokyo. Amanda Derbyshire and her horse roulette, the H, took a nasty fall, which put her out of the competition. The woes for Great Britain continued with 12 faults collected by James Wilson, and then Amy Inglis had eight faults. Team anchor and Olympic show jumping gold medalist Ben Mayer and his Rio Olympic ride Tic Tac brought their talent and experience into the ring with a clear round to end their first round on a positive note. Sweden is still in a commanding position. Ireland second, Italy third, Belgium fourth, United States in fifth place, sixth, Brazil seventh, Germany and Great Britain in eighth place. Two riders from each nation still to come now for Great Britain. Amy Inglis with her wonderful mare, Wishes. Wishes have taken Amy to medal winning positions for the last few years of her career. In Close to the tape. Still clear. Well, it's gone four faults. I don't know where that, whether that was the water. Well, it was a super jumping round and finishes on four faults. And the four faults was a, a late call from the judges on the water. They often have to walk across the judges. They have to kneel down by the plasticine to see if there's a mark, and that unfortunately was a foot in the water, otherwise that would have been a super end of the weekend for Amy Inglis. Bidding to jump, a double clear for Great Britain, Ben Mayer and Tic Tac. Wonderful end to a disappointing day for Great Britain. If we could see Ben Mayer, former world number one, jump a double clear. He's just, just the one to go, just the launch in upright. He's had plenty of time on the clock. He rubs the last minute, stays up, and that is a double clear for Ben Mayer. They deserve that, Great Britain. It's been a rough day for Great Britain, but that's a super double clear from the former world number one. One of the heroes over the last few years of the sport for Great Britain, Ben Mayer. Great Britain finish on 28 penalties.